What is going on, Fight Fans? So today I'm going to do something a little bit different, and I know I said I'm never going to play this game, but this is literally just for work for you guys to truly understand where I'm coming from, where I say that Fight Night will mess you up when it comes to ESBC. So we're gonna play and I'm gonna talk through some things while I'm playing to explain exactly uh, how it can be trippy and how your muscle memory, especially if you played it at a high level, especially if you played this game at a high level, how your muscle memory is going to drag you into some of the bad habits that were good habits in this game. Because when you play at a high level or you play consistently for a good amount of time, what ends up happening is that you do things naturally without having to think about it. What you're thinking about is the strategy that you're applying when you're fighting. And because you're doing things naturally and doing things using the back of your brain, that's that bleeds in to playing ESBC because of the trippiness of the control scheme being very, very similar. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so here we go. This is the uh, the controls settings here, right? So you see where it says block and power modifier and even lean. Um, it's not that's not the body modifier in in, in the game. Uh, the body modifier is actually uh, different. It's LB. Uh, they didn't want you to have to crouch down or have to use your crouch to 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 punch the body, which I love. But you see all of those things, and then uh, right straight, right hook, left hook, left straight, left uppercut, right uppercut. Full spectrum control. Uh, you know, um, switch stance was changed from left to right, but that's just like a, a, a quick thing. Um, and then headbutt, I believe, was yeah, obviously up is the alpha footwork or the loose footwork. I keep saying alpha, but look how similar these controls are. The block is the exact same button. The power modifier is the exact same button. The lean is the exact same button. All of the buttons for punching is the exact same. The full spectrum control is the exact same. And then the movement, obviously, of your character is the exact same. That bleeds into ESBC if you play this game at a high level. You have everything in the, the back of your brain, basically, right? But let me show you the things that are here that just don't work at all in ESBC, right? So <clears throat> let's get back into it, right? So I'm blocking. First of all, my goodness, they feel, they really feel, look at that. I'll try to switch stance. <laughs> and I press the ESBC button to switch stance. All right. So here we are, right? I'm, I'm, I picked, uh, um, what's his name? Uh, Pernell Whitaker because he actually whiffs a lot, right? He has like a, a flaw in his character design where he whiffs a lot. Uh, so I picked him. Uh, because I'm just gonna show you look just landed that and he blocked that one But if he's in range, I'm gonna let him go through look he's in range one two three four five Six well that one he missed right But it's almost you can see that no matter what Almost no matter what he's gonna land like if I throw one two I'm gonna land unless he blocks. I'm gonna land boom 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 Boom, boom, see? Boom, 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 boom. He has to move out the way. He has to literally move out the way for me not to land. Man, I keep forgetting. Oh, wow, I'm literally pressing. I pushed him by accident because I was trying to hit his body. That's crazy. Now ESBC is messing me up for fight night, <laughs> which that's fine. That's okay because that's the next the next game we're actually going to be playing. But I'm letting him hit me. I'm letting him hit me so you guys can see how magnetized it is how magnetized it is. By the way, you see this distance right here? See how close I got in? Look how far I am. Look how far I am. And look how close I get in from this distance. Like that's a lot. Or look how much I could pull away. Look how much I could pull away, look at that. See that? Boom. And every punch is the same. Every punch is the same. If I'm walking backwards, I'm throwing. He's throwing the same thing. If I'm walking forwards, he's throwing the same thing. He's just jumping forward. Look at that jump. Look at that jump. Right. So these little jumps, blocking, right, blocking right here, and everything being blocked. This messes you up because you press the block button. You press the block button in ESBC, and he only blocks the head. So you're so used to when you're about to see somebody start attacking, you just block. 
but your body's gonna be wide open and people that notice that they're gonna exploit it and the guys and day one they definitely exploited that all right so we got the magnetization we're tethered look 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 how difficult it is for me to move it's like they made look look i'm moving like i'm in i'm literally stuck in quicksand right if i put myself in a corner this is super dangerous and uh and fight night because there's really not much I could do. Like, yes, being in the corner is tough. You sh it is tough. You should never corner yourself. But in ESBC, there's still some tools to give you an ability to get out of there. The person has to be smart and aggressive, not just aggressive. While in this game, all they have to do is be aggressive. So I'm not playing online. I'm playing, you know, just a computer. I ain't trying to have to you know, give, give it my all or anything like that. Let's switch over. All right. So here we go. Let me jab just so you guys can see body everything see look i'm gonna even let him because he's blocking obviously he's gonna block and i have the computer on greatest of all time but if he if he hits me like like let me let him hit me boom boom look only because his distance he's not hitting me but once he's in range look at that once he's in range boom boom look is he, he can't miss he can't miss and esbc that doesn't happen so you're not throwing unnecessary punches. You're not gonna throw unnecessary punches. But here, you might throw some punches, some some like boom, 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 quick, you know, quick little combinations. You might throw them simply because you know that the likelihood of them landing is high. As long as the person's not blocking, it doesn't even matter what you do. It doesn't matter if you go to the body, it doesn't matter if you go to the head. You know that you're gonna land. You know that you're gonna land because you're on the inside and that's all you need. Right? The only thing that's making me miss or making him miss, see right there, connect, 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 connect. See that? The only thing, connect, look at that. The only thing that's making him miss or making me miss is, is if he's too far and, or if he's blocking. That's it. See, that, I have to give it a fight night, though. It just feels much better. Like, th this feels way better. This feels way better. This lean right here, it feels way better. Uh, even though it looks like he doesn't have that much distance, I think maybe it's, it's probably the speed. It's probably the speed. But maybe also when he goes left and right, like this, like the left it, it is real low. It's actually low. While the other one, it, it kind of goes like right here. Yeah, that's, that's the difference. In ESBC, he goes like this low, like right here. While in Fight Night, you go that low. Yeah, that's the difference. This is not too far. This is kind of like, this is kind of like Fight Night. The speed in Fight Night on the weave is good. And in ESBC, you go this low, like this low, this low, like this. But you in Fight Night, look how low you can get. Look how far you can get. Look how low you can get. And then you could like you could really use it like kind of bait and switch, kind of. Trying to just use head movement on him, but obviously they got the head movement meter. <clears throat> but yeah, man, basically all of these different things is what makes it. It's not so much that you know the side step uppercut or. The side step uppercut, which shouldn't even land, it's just unnatural to land. But it, it only lands because of the way they glide your opponent, which they don't. Whew, they don't glide your opponent in uh, ESBC. They don't glide them towards you. The person turns naturally towards you, right? But because of this, they glide them. That gonna, that's gonna land. It's like it's gonna get away from your punches, and then they're gonna get in position for your uppercut. Like, if they're throwing punches, you're going to escape it, but then the, the game is going to turn them into position so you can land your side step uppercut. But it, it's not so much just because of the side step uppercut. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's just the whole everything, the, the magnetization. You can see we're tethered together, that we're tethered. There's something magnetizing the two fighters together. And I guess they did that for the punches to feel like crisp or whatever, more crisp, but... I would take the punches feeling less crisp and being demagnetized anytime, any day, because you could your defense could could be elevated. Uh, you know, when you're being aggressive, you have to be smart. So yeah, I, I'm 100% uh, taking defense, uh, not defense, but yes, I'm a defensive fighter. But I'm taking disconnected uh, character models because what happens is you have to fight your fight and you have to. 
pace the game in your own pacing. You have to literally control your fighter and control the moment so that you can actually do well. So literally button mashers, uh, and it is a funny thing because that's just a big meme, but literally button mashers will actually be punished in ESBC because there's no, there's no benefit to button masher. It, it, like I heard, I saw people saying, oh, they should do something where they get punished, where like they lose accuracy or their vulnerability goes high. They don't need to do any of that. Just the fact that you're doing this, like this, I'm button mashing right now. Look how effective, look how effective I am button mashing. Look at that, look at that. I was button mashing. I wasn't paying attention to my combinations. Look how effective, look, 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 look how effective. He's he's all stressed out. The computer's all stressed out from my, me piling on an attack as a button masher as a button mash attack, look, look, look. This, I knocked them out, button mashing. I just knocked them out, button mashing. Greatest of all time difficulty, knocked them out, button mashing. I wasn't thinking about my combos, I was just pressing, 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 and moving forward. Pressing, 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 and moving forward. So think about that, think about that. If you do that in ESBC, what's gonna happen is you're going to miss a lot of different shots. And I pick, I pick uh, Pernell Whitaker, who whiffs a lot of his punches. He whiffs a lot of his punches based off of his character design, all right? So you could button mash in this game and you can't in other ones, so there's no throwaway punches that you could just do because you'll be punished. It's so easy to punish you in that game. You step back a little bit, you slip a little bit, you weave a little bit, you check punch. It's so easy to punish. It's so easy to punish. All right, so that, that's gonna end this video. I just wanted to explain what I meant when I said playing Fight Night is going to mess you up, I'm, I feel like I'm already rebuilding the muscle memory of Fight Night, which is why I want to stop playing it right now. Uh, but yeah, Fight Night is going to mess you up, guys. I'm not saying don't play Fight Night. You probably want to play Fight Night. I'm just going to dodge them. You probably want to play Fight Night, but all I'm saying, yeah, they definitely have a better weave, though. Fight Night definitely has a better weave. But all I'm saying is, whoo, but all I'm saying is you need to understand that do not use fight night to train or prepare yourself for esbc i know that sounds horrible because we have no other uh boxing video game right but that's the that's the honest truth man fight night is what messed me up on day one it is 100 what messed me up on day one and I, and even showbiz has some issues because of fight night so don't use fight night to get ready for it play fight night if you want, play Fight Night. Just know, you know, especially if you put Fight Night in your muscle memory. For those who barely play it, who rarely play it, or who's just started playing it, it may not affect you. But for those who've already banked all of the stuff, all of the mechanics in your muscle memory, it's going to affect you. 100% is going to affect you. Trust me. It's just the trippiness of all the buttons being in the same spot and it not being Fight Night and it not rewarding you for the same things that would happen in Fight Night when you play it. <clears throat> All right, guys. So the next one, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was very informative for you. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.